Well, hello there, all you happy trekkers. Uh, yeah, Doug's roped me into another one of these things, so let's get started. Okay, we're talking about the work bee here. Uh, thinking of a little craft that would buzz around the dry dock and create a lot of visual activity. Uh, once I came up with the idea, it's like, what would this little craft do? Would it be the front of a shuttle? Would it be a pushing device? Would it manipulate stuff or what? Uh, starting with the cab being a two-person, maybe a three-person vehicle by the size of the door, uh, I started thinking maybe it would be better if it was just a one-person craft. So I scaled it down, uh, coming up with this drawing, which looked all good and everything, but it's like, well, how do you get into it? So mm -hmm. then uh, that produced this drawing. And, oh, let me clean that up for you. Oh, there we go. Produce this drawing, and basically what you see is an operator getting into a docked work bee. And you can see the control panel is open, uh, being a zero gravity, a little craft would be a little too small for artificial gravity. Uh, the operator would just set themselves down, pull the lap belt across, you know, their controls, hook their feet under the tow bar. A tow bar, as you know, is robot spelled backwards. And they're ready to go. So uh, then I started focusing on these work sleds and came up with this kind of a grabber, lifter, manipulator combination. And, uh, and then I thought that uh, this would be good for the first sled. The second idea was a combination of uh, a pushing device and uh, coupled with a uh, sonic welder, uh, a laser cutter type of tool. Uh, the miniature itself was actually uh, built on a scale of uh, two inches to the foot, so it's like a G.I. Joe figure size. And you can see that they've replaced my foot restraints with a control panel. Uh, my hope was that this would be a sort of a HUD, a heads-up device uh, system, but not everything happens the way you want it to in movies. Uh, having said that, uh, this is a really cool logo, a WorkBee logo that one of our modelers, uh, a guy by the name of Chris, designed. Uh, but uh, even though we had a decal made, that didn't get on the model either. This is the one model that was used for filming. There was one other smaller model, and that was uh, put together and built on the scale that it would fit nicely with the Enterprise miniature. And it had a uh, like a watch battery and a little grain of wheat bulb so it could shine light on the uh, Enterprise miniature and uh, be all ready for filming. So pretty much that's about it.